Aho, game making warriors. I had a vision. I had a game maker vision to make a clock. So I made a clock. And so I thought I'd make it into a tutorial because it's kind of cool. Because if you have like an RPG game or something like that, and anytime you go into a room or you got a big bang, a big bend in the middle of your town or something like that, they're all it's all one little script you would use. And they're all going to stay on the same time frame. And you would be able to have something trigger at, you know, midnight or whatever. All of a sudden a ghost appears in your game. So, that's what we're going to make. Let's see. So, first things first, I'm going to grab my images. What do I do with them? So I'll grab my images and those will be in the assets folder from my website. If you want to use these ones, you can write your own uh, or create your own. Put them into my sprites. Boom. And let's see, I want to close them up and go one at a time with them. That's, my, that's just my background. Set that to zero. Uh, sprite center set to middle center that to zero that's good uh, this is the hour hand and the hour hand the hands will be placed in the bottom center and they're not animated they just move uh, in our minutes same thing Um, our sprite numbers, middle center. Same with the ring, the outside ring. Uh, and this is this is just an overlay that I'm going to have in here. Look, because all you're going to be able to see is in here. Uh, here's the second hand. That to zero. And I'm going to add a UFO. That to middle center. You don't have to do this. It's just an example of things you could have just running around in the background. Just for the hell of it. And I'll set that one to like 10 frames a second. It just kind of does this glowy thing. I'm going to name that to just Sprite UFO. Okay, now let's get into our objects and create an object. Create object. I'm just going to call it object clock. And let's open up our room. I'll just resize it. Put it at 1280 by 720. Uh, click on the background and I'll add to the sprite, the background sprite, horizontal tile, horizontal speed, negative 0.5, like usual. And in our create down here, open up our creation code and I'll just, I'll create the object clock uh, instance. Create. Um, I'm going to put it in the center. Room width. Divided by 2. Room height. Divided by 2. We'll put it on our instances layer. And it'll be object clock. Okay, that'll set that all up. I think we're done with the room at this point. Anything else open? Nope. <clears throat> okay, now let's just open up our object clock and get into our create object uh, event. 
open that up a little bit and we will get our hour it's going to equal current hour and get that out of the way our minutes minute will equal current minute And our second. Okay, that'll get our hour, minutes, and seconds. Now I'm going to make an angle for our hands. So hour ang equals, that's got to be negative be hour plus minute divided by 60 I'm trying to calculate this in my head times 30 that should get our hour angle okay now we'll create um, minute angle equal minus minute times six because we got 60 seconds for the minute and also we're dealing with the fact that it starts at zero and it goes 360 going backwards but we want to go we want to go clockwise So the second angle equals second times six. Once again, 60 seconds. And I think I'll just call that good. We're just going to get the clock going right now. Okay, now let's get into, let's create uh, a draw event in here. And the first thing I'm going to draw is that background screen to cover up the background. So draw sprite, and this doesn't have to be extended. Sprite screen. 0, 0x, zero 0y. Zero and let's draw our numbers. This is going to have to be extended. Let's write nums. 0x, uh, y, one. 1. One on the scales, it's all average, same scales. Uh, zero on the rotation, and um, for now I'm just going to use white. Just here, let's open that up. Just copy that, that in. Now we're going to do the sprite ring. And that should be exactly the same. Uh, let's do our sprite hours. Hour. Is it hours or hour? Is it hour. Sprite hour. We're going to change this to our angle angle copy that do that a couple times here we'll do our minutes and that should be minute angle oops called it min and this one i did sec this will be second angle. 
Um, and then I'm going to put a little centerpiece to kind of hide it a little bit. Uh, sprite center zero x one 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 hand. Okay, that should work. Oh, I screwed up in the room in the creation code. Screwed up a little bit. Wait. That should be divided by two. I think that should fix it. Okay, let's give that a try, see what we got. And there it is. That's the time it is right now, but it's not moving. So that's okay. I'm going to do a few other things here first. Um, in the creation code, I want to create um, a color. Is that where I want to do it? Yeah, right here I'm going to go hand color equals, and you can use any color you want or change the colors, you know, by the hour or something like that, but I'm just going to make a custom color. Custom RGB, 173. It's kind of like a, a bright green, kind of like a monster drink green. I'm going to take that hand color. I'll go back into the draw. And instead of C white, I'm going to make these hand color. Um... I'm going to do that for the Sprite Nums, too. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, have we got that green color going on there? That's good. Let's get those hands moving. I'm going to add step. And in here, I'm going to go ahead and get back into my creation. And I'm going to grab all this stuff right here. And just copy it. Put it in the step. Because that should update all that information. And let's give that a try. There, it's moving. And I'm looking at my clock and it looks pretty accurate. Running off your clock, your your computer clock. That's the problem is if you were to put it into your game, you're going to probably want to get the current time and then do an internal clock within your game. Otherwise, anybody could just change the clock on their computer and cheat in your game, which is fine too. It could be a little cheat. I'm going to change this stuff a little bit here. Interpolate colors, allow resize. There we go. Okay. So we got the clock going. But we're going to have to compensate for some stuff here. Actually, maybe I should draw, because I want it to draw the, the actual date. So... Let's see, let's go back into, yeah, in our create, let's just do some stuff in here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get everything. The year, going to be current year. Let's copy this a few times. I need month, day, and date. Month, day, and date. Here. Now these are built-in uh, variables in Game Maker. You can easily access this stuff. Weekday and month. Okay, that gives us that. 
Now, I want... I'm going to add... What else do I want here? Actually, I think that should be fine. So let's get into our draw again. And I'm going to add some text stuff. Draw, set, H align, F A center, and draw text color just to make sure. It's most likely going to be white, anyways, but we'll make it white. And then draw text. Now what this is gonna we're gonna have it at x because we're already centered y minus 175 and I'm gonna use a variable uh, full date which we haven't made yet and I'm also gonna draw I'll just copy that again, only it'll be time. And this will be at minus 150. Okay, let's see here. I got the center thing. This is all text stuff. So that's good. But we're going to have to get into our step to do the calculations for this. Oops. Um, let's get back into our create in the clock. I want to grab this stuff too and put that in the step. Copy. Date here. Actually, do I need to do that? You know, I don't think I need to do that. So let's set up our time variable. Time equals string hour. So it's coming in as a non-string. Oh, no, it's because I'm doing this. I'm going to add these. So when you combine your variable with a string, it'll cause an error. String minute plus and plus String second. Okay, that'll give us our time. <clears throat> and now we're going to have to create the full date. And we want this, yeah, we got to have that in here. Hold on. I'm going to create. I'm going to grab this again. So if you had your this program running, for more than a day, your date and time is going to change. So you want to make sure this stuff is running too. Constantly checking it. Okay, full date equals string weekday plus, and then we'll just give it a spacer. And then might as well go down to this level here. String uh, month a spacer a string date plus give a little piece there, make it look good. Um, oops, we need a plus in here too. Plus, we need the year. String year. I think that's right. Plus, 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 plus. Okay. So why does it show something's wrong here? Weekday. Oh. That should be day at this point. We will be changing that to weekday, but 
Is that what I need? Day, current, week, day. Now this is just going to be a number. Okay, I just realized that's messed up. Let's open up our draw. It says draw text color. It should be draw set color. And I think, oh, full date is underscore, isn't it? Okay. I should fix that. Okay. All right, let's see how that's looking. It's not gonna be pretty. Okay, there we go. 4, 3, 30, 20, 23. There's the times right, but these are not right. Uh, 4 represents, this is, uh, it's not April yet, is it? Oh, no, that's the April. Um, it's the month. Oh, the day of the week. Today is Thursday, so that's 4. And it is March, so this is three. So we got to compensate for that. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to do the month first, I believe. So I'm going to use a switch case. Switch. And we're going to use the month. So for case, if it equals one, then we're going to say full month equals, you could, you could just do Jan, but I'm going to do a full January and then break. And let's close this up real quick. We haven't used full month, but what's going to happen is we're going to, let's just copy this, copy, and put that in the month. And then let's copy this a few times. We're going to need 12 of them. So case two, case three, case four, February, March, five, six, seven, eight. We got March, April, May, June, July, August. Do that again. August, September, October, November. You could rename them to like if it's like you're from another planet or something like that too. December. Okay. So that should give us our month now. Did I screw anything up here? No. See how that looks. Okay, now we got the March in there. Now we got to do the same type of thing for the date, the day, the day of the week. So, and this one's a little different too. Which Day. Okay. 
Okay, case. This one's getting to start with zero. And that will, zero will be Sunday. A week, day. Sunday. Yep. Um, break. And we'll just change day, day to weekday. I'll just do that a few times. Okay, this will be one, two, three, four, five, six. So this will be Monday. I'm assuming this is, this is, I did a game recently where I thought it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but it seemed to be that zero was Sunday. So that's what I know at this point. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. And happy day, Saturday. Okay, so that should show us the full thing. So let's give that a try. Okay, that seems accurate to me. Thursday, March 30th, 2023. Now here's another problem. <clears throat> the time, the hours go from zero to 24. So what hour is 19? You know what I'm saying? So, but that's an easy fix here. Now what all we have to do. Okay, I'm going to go up here. And I got to be here. So all I have to do, all we have to do is right in here. I'm in this step. I'm going to say if hour is larger than 12. Like I said, well, maybe I said zero to 24, but it's one to 24 on the current hour when it comes in. So if it's larger than 12, all you do is hour minus equals 12. And that should give it, give us the actual hour of the day. Give that a try. See if it's working. And there it is. It's 8.11. And that is an accurate time. Now there's also another problem here. If you look... Um, so if the seconds were under 10, it would just jump down to 1 instead of adding the 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. So I'm going to compensate for that too. So, um, let's see. We'll do this. If, same with the minutes. The minutes have the same problem. Second, uh, smaller than 10. And second equals zero plus string second. And we'll just do that the same exact thing for the minutes. A minute smaller than 10. minute we'll add a zero to it and just connect it to the minutes and that should fix that oh i'll give that a try see if i haven't messed stuff up wait a few seconds here for the seconds anyways so it's 59 oh Crash and burn. 
Okay. Okay, I think the problem is... This stuff has to be underneath. Cut that out. I think it has to be down here. Sense. Okay, let's give that a try. So, nine, ten, teak. See, we got the zero there now. And that work, should work the same way with the minutes. I could change my minutes to really show it, but I'm not going to. So if you were to change your clock right now, it would change the program the time on it and the reason that was happening is these were utilizing the seconds and the minutes and I was converting the seconds and the minutes and that doesn't make sense because that becomes a string and a string times six is going to cause a crash so um okay so there's more I'm going to show. I'm going to make this a two-parter. But this is where we're at here. So I'll add the rest of the stuff um, next time. All right. Aho, time travelers. All right. You guys be good, and I'll see you in a little bit here.